One month ago, this rainforest was nothing but a barren wasteland. But as time went on, predators evolved and prey fell. Even natural disasters would ravage the ecosystem. But despite the dangers, some animals went on to thrive. Although it started from nothing, in every blank slate lies a tale waiting to be told. So here is the story of my 30-day rainforest simulation. On day one, the beginnings of the rainforest were constructed. Earth was layered, moss was spread, and plants emerged. As greenery took over, our journey of life was only just beginning. Because hidden deep under the soil, something was alive. There were earthworms. These creatures are expert dirt excavators helping plant roots spread. While they dig, earthworms also decompose decaying material within the soil, transforming it into food for the plants above. With just these little worms and the plants, this ecosystem would be able to thrive for years on its own. But little did these worms know, there was something else. Deep inside the luscious vines of the jungle, crickets were breeding. And while they may look cool, these crickets were very, very hungry. They were starting to eat every single plant they laid their eyes on. And as a result, over the next few days, the plants started disappearing at a shocking rate. The ecosystem was falling apart, and the worms could do nothing to save it. Are you serious right now, bro? The ecosystem needed to be saved, as I still had insane plans for upcoming stuff. I had to introduce a top-tier predator to the rainforest, a creature that would demolish the cricket's population. Let me introduce you to the Australian White's Tree Frog. <laughs> This fierce predator of the rainforest should do the job of eating the crickets perfectly. And as soon as I let him go, the hunt begun. The crickets could feel its presence and they tried to hide. But it was no use. The frog had his eye on multiple crickets. And the helpless insects could do nothing about it. It only takes a singular strike from the frog. And with it, he earns himself a nice and tasty meal. The cricket's population finally begun to fall as there was a new king of the jungle. And as the days went on, the ecosystem started to restore itself. Everything was sustainable once again. And along with this newfound peace, something else appeared. A thick and misty fog started to roll in. While the rainforest had seen some rain prior, today the forest was about to see its biggest storm yet. Out of nowhere, thunder appeared and the rain started to pour down. This would be a long storm, so the animals had to buckle down. The frog quickly retreated behind a log, while the worms burrowed under the ground even further. It was intense, and the winds even blew away some of the leaves. But after two days, it finally started to calm. As the rain clouds receded, it was obvious what they had left behind. A tiny little pond had been formed. And while it was small, this water would allow for an entirely new type of life to thrive. In fact, if we zoom in, that life is already visible. Springtails. All over the surface of the water were these micro insects. In just the few days that it was raining, these creatures rapidly reproduced all over the forest. But thankfully for us, these guys have no ill intent as their main purpose is to break down organic matter in the plants and water, helping the whole ecosystem to thrive even more. The little springtails even ventured onto this log to clean it. But this sustainability would not last very long, as under this very log, something bad was brewing up. Over the next few days, an odd sound was continuously growing louder and louder. There was a new creature alive under this log. 
So on day 14, I lifted up the log to expose what was underneath. Mealworms were in full breeding mode. These mealworms are different from the earthworms at the start of the video, as their numbers are much, much larger. Because of this, they're stripping too many essential nutrients from the soils, and in turn, they are tipping off the balance of the ecosystem. The plants once again started to disappear, and by day 17, these mealworms were absolutely everywhere. The frog had noticed these new insects and immediately started his hunt. He tried to eat as many as he could. But it was no use. Mealworms breed at a rapid pace. And the frog could simply not keep up. And at this state, the ecosystem was once again collapsing at an even more drastic rate than before. It was time to introduce a new predator to our rainforest once again. Meet the green anole. Our ecosystem is about to be introduced to two of these cold-blooded creatures. And as a result, everything should hopefully be fixed. So, I added them in. And almost instantly, they sensed the worms. Now, they may look small, but these lizards are incredibly fast. Allowing them to ambush any worm they laid their eyes on. The green anoles sat on a vine, waiting for an unlucky worm to stumble across them. And while they were waiting, one of them even turned brown to blend in with the stick that he was on. It didn't take long until their first unlucky victim stumbled in. And of course, the encounter didn't last long. The mealworm population finally started to fall one after one. Our lizard duo had successfully saved the ecosystem. And as day turned to night on day 23, I decided to let a few more crickets into the enclosure to show you just how quick these green anoles really are. Within seconds, the lizards noticed the insects and their tiny little eyes locked onto their targets. The crickets had mere moments to be alive. All of a sudden, one of the lizards dashed into his prey through the darkness so fast that I didn't even catch him eating the cricket. The earthworms, frogs, springtails, and lizards were now thriving together to finish off our rainforest simulation. And on the final day, day 30, I woke up to something magical. Flowers had bloomed and luscious plants were everywhere. The rainforest was complete and our remaining animals could live happy together. Thanks for watching, and I wanted to let you all know this is actually my first ever video. So to show that you want to see more, it would mean a lot if you could subscribe to the channel. Also, I'm looking to create a lot of videos similar to this, so if you have any ideas you'd like to see, comment them down below. Once again, thanks for watching.